Hello everybody, it's Dr. Dan here with Glow H2O. I want to do a quick assembly video on my 30 cent spinner plane. So these are fresh off of the print. I used a translucent PLA um, and I, build, I do these directly on the build plate. Um, so I've got my two printed pieces here. I have my 30 cents and we'll see how that comes into play. I have a hobby knife here just um, to do a couple uh, little tidying up things from the print, some little post-processing. And then I also have just some good old string. You can use any type of string that you like. This is just kind of what I had hanging around the workshop, so I thought I would use it. So um, first things first, because I print these on the print bed, sometimes you get this little bit of um, flashing or a thickness of layer. So th this slot here is where the coins are gonna go to balance. So I like to use a hobby knife and kind of get in here and just kind of clean that off. Now I'm cutting towards myself, kids don't do that. Um, I should I should be smarter about that, but here we go. Um, so I'm just, I'm just gonna kind of clean that off um, through the power of vid video editing. Um, I will probably pause this video and do that um, and then we'll move forward. Okay, so now that I've got that cleaned up, I am just going to use some standard um, uh, CA glue, some just super glue, if you will. Now this one had a little bit of a layer raise here that just happened on my particular print. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue in there to kind of keep that under control. And I don't go crazy, but I'm, I can be somewhat liberal with this stuff, it's okay. Just wipe it off after the fact. And then I'm going to just put a good amount on here. It doesn't take a lot, this PLA and these CA glues, um, cyanoacrylate. They work really well together, so I don't go too crazy. Just get this kind of lined up, squeeze it nicely. You guys all know how to glue stuff, but I'm just doing this for the deliciousness of the process. And there, in just a few minutes, that should be good to go. Okay, great, now the plane is all glued together, and the most important part of the assembly um, is what I'm gonna talk about now. Now, we call it the 30 second spinner, or, sorry, 30, 30 cent spinner plane um, because of about the balance, okay? You can see the airfoil shape and the center of gravity and the best place for a plane to balance is where the, li the, the maximum cord here, um, where there's the maximum lift. So I put these kind of a few different little adjustable holes here, um, and we'll talk about that in a second, but real planes, you know, this, this has the proportion of a real plane, so it looks good, and real planes tend to have a big heavy engine up here, so when you kind of put your fingers, and this is just a quick and dirty way to do this with these planes, is you put your fingers kind of in the center and it should balance. And you can see this one is very, I even drop it, it's very tail heavy, okay? So the proportions of this is designed for there to be a big large engine in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some um, cheap weight that I have sitting around known as coins and we're gonna st stuff it in here. Now, of course I cheated and I tested this out and designed this for 30 cents. And so it's good. what you're gonna see is that when I put my finger now in these middle points, a little bit, it's a little bit back, if I can get it just right, that it'll balance. I hope that's, you can kind of see. And so it's hard to see on the video, but the balance point is right about that second hole right there. So that's where I'm gonna put my string um, to kind of help it fly better. If the balance is off, as the plane flies, it can kind of pitch like this, and it just doesn't fly nicely. Now I'm just gonna throw this through, and I do, I tend to use a slip knot um, for no particular reason whatsoever, except that's just what I like. Um, I don't know if you guys do this knot. I go over and around, it, just kind of like a square knot. Um, I have this backwards, but I think I can figure this out. I am a scientist after all. So we just go around like that, make a loop, and then put it, pull it through. Now if you pull this, of course on the video it's not cooperating, but there you go. If you pull that nice and tight, then this is just a, a standard slip knot, and it can go here. I like this on this particular guy because um, you can then adjust it and then tighten it up. So I'm gonna adjust it on this second one, second from the back, which maybe is a little bit further back than is optimal. But I think this will do just fine. Um, basically, if you have this generally balanced, it should fly pretty well. So we'll cut to some videos of its performance. All right, thanks for watching, guys.